Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you a better way to organize your photos on your Mac instead of using albums. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 500 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about it, join us, and get exclusive content. Most people use albums to organize their photos in the Mac Photos app. However, I believe there's a better way. You can use keywords and also descriptions and titles to organize your photos without albums at all. So here's a sample photo library. I do have one album in here but I'm going to not use albums anymore. I'm going to go and use keywords. So I'm going to start off here by selecting a photo. I can assign a keyword to it one of two ways. One is I can click the information button here or use Command I and then it says assign keyword and I can type a keyword in there. So let me do that. And then I have that keyword assigned to this photo. I could do the same thing with other photos. I can select say these three here and you see it says three photos and I can assign a keyword to those as well. And you can see it even auto completes. So easy to assign. Now I could also use the keyword manager which is Command K. So I'll bring that up and you can see it's got that keyword already there and it's highlighted. It's blue because the three photos I have selected have that one applied to it already. If I select another photo that doesn't have the keyword applied you can see that it's white. So I click it to apply. I can do that with several photos and now I've applied it to all of those. So now I have the keyword Denmark applied to eight different photos. Now let me close this window and show you how you can then view these photos. One way to do it is to use a Smart Album. So I go to File, New Smart Album and I set it to Keyword Is and then I select from the list Denmark. And I'll call it Denmark. And then I have a Smart Album now under My Albums. And all those photos are in there. So I can use that just like a regular album. The difference being that I can take a photo and remove the tag from it. I'll do Command K to bring this up. Remove that tag and you can see it just appears from the album. Or I could go into My Photos list here and I can select a photo, this one, and then add it by adding the tag. And now it appears automatically in the Smart Album. So the way I add things to these types of Smart Albums is I basically apply the tag to that photo. But I don't like using Smart Albums because they don't show up on the iPhone or iPad. They're for Mac only. So let's not use Smart Albums for this. Instead let's do it another way. We can simply search for the keyword. So I'm going to go up here to Search and I'll search there and you can see it shows up as a result there. Now you might see it show up as a location if you had GPS information for the photos. You may see it show up as a description of something in the photo. But you will see it just show up as the plain word for your keyword there with the little magnifying glass next to it. And when I use that search I will see those eight photos. And The great thing about this is it works on the iPhone and iPad. If you are using iCloud Photo Library and then you have your photos synced that way to your iPhone and iPad you can now search for that keyword and get those same photos. Unfortunately you can't assign a keyword on the iPhone or iPad. So you need to do your organizing on your Mac. But at least you can view these albums. Now there is one more way that you could view this. You could go to the Keyword Manager here and notice there's Favorite Keywords here and I could drag and drop any keyword I want to the top there. This does a few things. One is it will always appear at the top so as, as this list grows your favorites will be here at the top so it's easy to assign them. The other is you have a keyboard shortcut. So as long as this window is open I can select a photo and hit that key and add or remove that tag from a photo. But another reason to use the Quick Group because if you go to View Show you'll see those keywords as Quick Groups show up in this list. So then I can easily select them like that. And you'll see it say Showing Only and that keyword. You could do the same thing here. So if I have it set to all items I could click there and I can easily select them. So let's add some more here. I'm going to go and select some more photos and add those to a new keyword here. So I could do that by either using Edit Keywords and I can add a new keyword and then apply it. Or I can do the Info box here and simply type the new keyword. And once I do you can see it appears in there and it's applied to all of those photos. Now it might take some seconds or even minutes to apply all that. You can see if I search here for Paris it says indexing there. So 
it hasn't applied them yet it's got to go and send them up to iCloud and everything. But once it's all synced up then you should be able to search for that keyword. So you can see now just a few seconds later I searched for Paris and it says 37 and now I can see all of these. The search results show me a selection there and I can then click See All to see all of them. And if I wanted to I could go and move Paris up to the Quick Group here and then I could select it from there to quickly jump to all of them as well. You can also adjust the keyboard shortcuts there under Edit Keywords. You can see I can go in here and I can then click on the shortcut and change it to something. I can also rename a keyword. So that would rename them for all of it. So for instance if I changed Paris to France you can see now I could select one of these photos, get information on it, and you can see that the keyword is still there. It's just been renamed to France. Now searching works for more than just keywords. It also works for titles and descriptions. And I could look here under Info and I could see I've got Add a Title and Add a Description. So I could title the photo whatever I want and then I could search for that title. So you can see it appear there. Now what's more useful I think is the descriptions because you could put anything you want in here. You could describe it. You could write paragraphs of text if you want. But you could also throw keywords in here. So I could use this instead of keywords. Like just type garden, fountain, park. And I can search for any one of these. And you can see it shows up here. And I can even create smart albums if I wanted to with searches for that. So you can do new smart album and you could look for description includes or title includes. Now titles are useful but a lot of people complain that you can't see titles here when looking at your photos. But actually you can. You just need to go to View, Metadata and then turn on Titles. And now you'll see titles here like this. But if the title isn't there it just shows you the file name. So one thing that keywords and albums have in common is just like you can put a photo in more than one album you could assign more than one keyword to a photo. So you could assign a photo Paris and Garden and Flower if it fits all of those and do searches on any of those. It's like having them in those three albums. Now another way to go is to not use keywords or albums at all but to simply search. Searches will turn up locations people and objects in the photos automatically. So you could search for things like flower and boat and sunset and see those. And then of course a lot of us just use albums to group together some photos that are already grouped together in time. So you can look at all photos, years, months, and days. They're all sorted chronologically. So you could easily find that week that you're on vacation without having to go and put all those photos in a special album. So something nice and minimalist to not really using any albums or keywords and just searching through your photos. I publish new tutorials every weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out. Then hit the little bell icon to get notifications for each new tutorial.